Hello and welcome to the 10th tutorial based on the topics presented at IB Experts Firebird School held by Holger Klemt and Jason Chapman as part of the International Firebird Conference 2007. We'll continue in part 2 of our tutorial writing stored procedures and triggers with the execute statement and execute procedure and we'll briefly look at while, leave, break and recursions and modularity. So, let's start with for execute do. You can also use a for execute loop. For example, I can use a statement out of a procedure and go through it. The execute statement functionality lets me construct dynamic SQLs, that is, when I have user specific tasks. For example, a user wants 10 fields in his report. I can pack these 10 fields in a string which I extract at the beginning and execute as an SQL. We can see here in the example for execute statement select first etc. This is basically a simple string concatenation. That means in this part here the SQL select first could come from any database field. I could also declare a variable for example declare variable SQL varchar 1000 and for execute statement SQL into title actor price. That means theoretically we can store such complete SQL statements in the database and use them whenever we need to. It is possible to incorporate flexibility and configurability for the end user. Such dynamic procedures which can be written and configured during runtime offer huge flexibility. Loops can be controlled using for select or for execute. While do. You've got for select do, for execute do, and then you've got some basic constructs like while for some iterations when you want to do something 50 times or a thousand times. A typical construction here could be, for example, I have 1000 operations that I need to carry out. I set a value to 1000 and count backwards so long until I end at zero while i equals zero or similar. Then we have the leave command introduced in Fiber 2.1 and the break command in order to leave such a loop. Here you can see a construction for a break in a for select loop. Begin if something then suspend otherwise exit the loop and continue with the next command. In the case of many operations I don't necessarily need to go through all data sets that I can simply say, once the tenth dataset has been found, it doesn't need to search further. Break will break you out of the loop and you'll carry on executing past it. And here's an example using leave. We have already demonstrated the execute statement in the previous example. We'll use the execute statement example that we see here. Create procedure, TBL stats, returns, etc and use it as a small table statistic tool. We'll say that these table statistics run through all tables, fetching the table names and executing a select count command and then suspending. When this is executed, all datasets are counted and a simple statistic is compiled. Here we can see how many datasets there are in each table. And when that is stored in a procedure, it's a very useful feature. The information is generated during runtime using the RDB dollar relations table. It removes all system tables, that is not containing dollar, executes a select count for each table and, after counting, suspends. Execute procedure. It is possible to call one or more procedures with or without an input parameter using the execute procedure command. Here you can see the procedure in it all. It uses a count parameter, data type big int, and passes this on to other parameters. Yes, I can pass a variable on to other procedures. This procedure doesn't actually need the suspend as there are no returns. IB Expert warns you of pointless suspends as they can have negative effects on your procedure execution. For example, when I add a suspend to the delete all procedure and compile, an error message is published. It is, however, just a warning. IB Expert doesn't force you to delete the suspend. If you would like to view a global list of all warnings for a particular database, use the IB Expert Tools menu, SP Triggers Views Analyzer. Here you can view all database objects and the warning types published by IB Expert. 
All those entries marked red indicate any sorts of problem that need looking at more closely. For example, if I have a varchar 30 field which stores information from two combined fields, for example, title and name, each of which is varchar 25. This might work for years without any problems occurring until an entry such as Professor Doctor and Leuthäuser Schnallenberger causes an error message. It can take some time to find a mistake such as this. IB Expert publishes a warning that you have combined two variables into a single variable which has been defined too small. Recursions and modularity. Here you can see a demo. Create procedure SPX. Input and output parameters. Variables that are computed and which I wish to store internally and then the procedure calls itself and fetches the parameter into another variable via the returning values. A good example of a recursive procedure is a typical employee table in a large hierarchical company where the table has a column containing a pointer to the employee's boss. Every employee has a boss and the bosses have bosses who may also have bosses. If you wish to see a list of all bosses for one individual or the upstream management then you could create a procedure selecting into and finish this with a suspend then it would go and call the same procedure again this time with the resulting bosses ID procedure would carry on in this way until it reached the top level management who answer to no one basically the CEO but please always take extreme care when programming recursion so, that was our introduction to writing stored procedures and triggers. And, as you can see, we've already come to A24, the final tutorial in this developer series, Debugging and Optimization. A transcript of this tutorial can be downloaded by all IP Expert registered full version holders from the customer download area at www.ibexpert.com. All topics presented here are also documented in detail on our website. We hope this tutorial has been of help to you and look forward to publishing our next subject, Debugging and Optimization. Goodbye for now and thank you from all of us at IP Expert. <laughs>